I'm Bill Swantner, the practicing gardener. The nurseries and the various stores who sell flowers are full of tropical hibiscus this time of year. They're beautiful in color, and the, some of them are very profuse in blooming. But when the when the first frost hits, these uh, these hibiscus are going to die back, and some of them may not come back. So they're really almost treated like annuals. But some hibiscus do quite well in Texas, and they are Texas superstar hibiscus. There's the Moy hibiscus, and when mine's blooming, I'll, I'll show it to you. There is the Texas star, which comes in red, and it comes in white. And there is a Texas flare. This is the peppermint Texas flare. This is not readily available in the nursery. I had to buy it online. And the problem with buying things online is you have to hope and assume that they're sending you the correct plant. This one I took a chance on, and this one uh, this one has come true, and it's absolutely beautiful with the white and little bits of pink in here. It's a beautiful flower. This, being a Texas superstar, it will survive our winters. My superstar uh, hibiscus survive in pots that are left outside. Sometimes I'll move them inside. If it depends what kind of mood I'm in when the frost or from the freeze hits, but this is a Texas Flare Peppermint Hibiscus. If you have any questions about this video, please send me an email at bcmg61 at yahoo.com. And if you're looking for accurate, unbiased, research-based information on the internet, the best place to start is with your local Master Gardeners Association.